Welcome to our few moments together on the Parsha. This Shabbos, we have the privilege of reading Parshas Vayeshev. Parshas Vayeshev is especially rich. We find that when the brothers were interested at first in killing Yosef, and that's not our topic of discussion today as to why that was, but let's pay attention to the Mepharshim and we'll see why that was so. But we're going to discuss that when they wanted to kill Yosef, the Pesach says, Vayishma Ruvain, and Ruvain heard what they were plotting, Vayatzilehu miyadam, and he saved him from their hands. Vayomer, and he said, Lo nakenu nafesh, we should not kill anyone. And Ruvain's hope was that ultimately they would leave him alone, they would leave him in the pit, he would come back and he would save him. The Pesach tells later on a Choftes that he returned to the pit, and Yosef was not there, and Ruvain ripped his clothes. The interesting thing is that the Pesuk at first says in Pesuk Chof Aleph, Vayatzilehu miyadam, and he saved him from their hands, which means that the Torah is testifying that Ruvain's intention from the beginning on was purely for the true purpose of saving Yosef. And even though he did not realize that he ultimately did because they did not kill him. And Yosef eventually went to Mitzrayim and the Jews came down to Mitzrayim. And then because of Yosef's preparation, the Jews were able to live there and get out of Mitzrayim eventually. And we were able to get the Torah, experience the splitting of the Yamsuf, get the Torah at Har Sinai, and eventually come to Eretz Yisrael. All this was because that Ruvain did in fact save Yosef from their hands, even though at that moment it certainly seemed as if Ruvain's intent to save him was null and void and he didn't accomplish what he wanted to. The Sfas MS comments on this and tells us we're learning a powerful idea and a beautiful lesson here. What's happening is that when we mean to do something well, when we intend only to do the MS, when we intend to do the truth and to save and to bring about with our best intentions, the ultimate goodness, despite the fact that sometimes we will not achieve that ultimate goodness and we will not be the savior of the moment. But never, never, never ever do our efforts go to waste. Our efforts bring about down the road great, great gifts. And that's exactly what happened with Ruvain and that's what happens with the Jewish people. Great gifts. When the Hashmonaim fought and did everything they could to have the menorah lit in the Beis HaMikdash, even though their reign only lasted a short time, nevertheless, they gave for the Jewish people throughout the 2,000 years of exile that we're in, a Yom Tov that brings light to the Jewish people and gives hope to the Jewish people. They made an effort in truth to bring about that the world should be brightened by the lighting of the candles, by the lighting of the lights in the menorah, in the Beis HaMikdash, and those lights have stood for us as a beacon and sign of the divine providence that Hashem watches over the Jewish people, and that despite all anyone has ever thrown at us, we're still here, because their intent was truth, to light the menorah in the Beis HaMikdash, to give an eternal flame for the Jewish people. So when we light the Hanukkah menorah this coming week, when we begin Hanukkah on Sunday night, and for the next eight days light those lights, which gives so much hope for the Jewish people, let's remember that it really has to do with the efforts of the truth that began with Ruvain. Because Ruvain intended, and even though it didn't work out at that time, ultimately it brought about the salvation of Yosef. He was not killed. He ended up being the viceroy of Mitzrayim. The Jewish people came out of Egypt. They got the Torah and Har Sinai. They saw the splitting of the sea. We came into the land of Israel because Ruvain's intent was to save, and the Torah testifies, Vayatzi Lehu Miyadam. What a great lead-in for the beautiful Yom Tov of Hanukkah that's coming up, and the bright lights that we light, and the hope for the future that the Jewish people never give up. We know that if we mean in truth, it's going to come to fruition. That's Kla Yisrael. I want to wish everyone a bright, lichtige, light-filled, wonderful Yom Tov of Hanukkah.
And it's not a bad idea to make a little Seudas Mitzvah where you say some Torah and enjoy those latkes and donuts. Have a wonderful Shabbos. And don't forget, we're benching Rosh Chodesh this week too. Shabbat Shalom, Umevarach.